Hi folks, I'm Cyclops FPV and today I'm going to be doing a um, a build on the uh, Beta FPV Parvo um, 90mm quadcopter but I'm going to do it a little bit different I'm going to be putting a 1S walk snail system into uh, this quadcopter now uh, the thing is this is only a 1S system so on the flight boards um, I'm going to have to repin the wires because um, obviously DJI which is what this is for is a 6 um, wire plug and this is a 4 wire but they're the, they're the same they're, they're the same colours um, that I need to uh, swap the plug out and connect it with um, the only problem is the mounting of it. So, what you get in this, this is the uh, the PMP, the bind and fly version. So you get, you don't get a camera system with this. What you do get is the LEDs. Um, you get the, the uh, cross member for the VTX, which is for the air, air unit, but we're not using an air unit, so... Um, and you get some screws, gummies and all that with it. You get um, the Gemfam, um, I think they're 2015 bi-blades. Uh, you get this little thing, the cage, um, that I might have to trim down. I don't know whether I'm going to be using a whoop type uh, canopy or I'm going to adapt this to fit. Obviously the camera won't fit in there, it's far too small, but I've got a little get around for that. Um, and then you get the quad itself. Now I've bound this. Um, on the website it says that it's on e ELRS version 1. Well it's not. It's on ELRS version 3. And the way I know that is I've plugged it into the configurator. And it told me on the top what target to use. Because it's a generic DIY target. And um, it tells you that it was on version 3. So I've bound it. This all works, um, all my modes and everything work on it, the, the beeper, uh, turtle mode, everything else. You just plug the battery in and out three times, you get the bind light, and then boom, you're in. It's easy, it took me, took me minutes to do it. Alright, this wire here is a six, is a, a six pin, um, six wire jobby. So what you have to do, you have to disconnect the, um, the pin... You take the wiring harness out and then uh, repin the only two wires you won't need on the end is I think the blue and the black because that's for the DJI controller so um, we have to take this plug off or take the whole wiring harness off and put the plug from this onto this and then re-plug it in this thing here is for your um, is for your beat of Beta, um, beta flight uh, configurator so you plug it into this this here you plug you you plug the USB into your computer and you can get beta flight um, on there and then uh, you can configure it how you want um, so the other thing I'd advise you about is this antenna here this is a UART um, based receiver not a serial um, this, when you get it, will be flat against the flight board. Take it out because um, you will get poor range and you'll be getting fail safes. Um, so pull it out and just mount it um, so it doesn't lie across the board. I've just put it like this just for now. I'll probably tidy it up later on. You've got um, you've got your uh, harness there for your battery, and this thing here, this little plug here. Is for the LEDs so you put your LED strip on which I haven't done yet and you just plug it into there and you then you can configure it how you want it switched on or off um, I'm gonna do it so that it's it's on when it's when it's disarmed and off when it's armed um, the same that I did on my um, fly lens uh, you got a capacitor there uh, and 
you all the motors are plugged in i'll write down on the description uh, no i'll write down on on this video what these what these motors are because i can't i can't read it it's it's way too small but i'll write it down anyway what they are and uh the flight board i think it's a 20 amp um beta fpv it's it's actually quite good now this was only 75 pound for the whole thing well worth it it's a no-brainer because although you don't get the camera with it you get everything else you get a good decent flight board with plenty of power because it's a 3s you can also fly it on 2s um it's very powerful um you've got everything you need to uh to start flying so uh it's all no soldering nothing it's all it's all done for you you just got on um, it's just going to be a bit of a project for me because i'm putting a walk snail system in it because that's all i've got and i've only got a 1s version um so yeah the the v the VT, vrx is um no, the vtx has got to go on here and then i've got to mount the canopy on top plug it all in configure it and everything on beta flight and uh we're good to go um yeah that's that's about it the hardest part is going to be de-pinning it to uh, mount the system and to work out uh what what kind of canopy i'm going to have on top um you got an xt30 there um 2s or 3s and um yeah that's about it so there's not going to be any flight footage on this video um, because this is going to be just a, an, un an unboxing and um, planning stage and uh, the next video I'm going to show you the results of what I did and, and how it will look with the camera on it and it will all be set up and ready to go. But yeah this is all bound, all, all, all the modes work um, and everything so it's all set. So that's that's that bit done um i've yet to put the led strip on and we can move on to uh the configuration of the uh of the settings on beta flight afterwards but yeah that's that's the plan to to put the 1s system in into this it's going to be super light super quick and um it should be it should be a project that I'm going to be working on over the Christmas period. Um, I'm halfway there already. I've got everything I need to do. So, uh, yeah, in the next video, it'll all be done. And I'll go through, you know, the various steps. If you if you want to do this yourself. Obviously, if you've got an air unit um, or any anything else, any other HD system, it's more or less plug and play. Um, but... As I said, I've got the issue with the wiring here that I need to do. Now, I've got to measure the voltage um, from the red red wire and the black wire and find out um, if this is wired up to uh, 5 volts because this will run from 3.3 .3 to 5 volts. Anything more and it will blow. So, I've got, to, I've got to work out how much power is on that because I'm hoping not to um, like solder it on. I'm just going to change the plug and use use it as it is, you know. So um, no soldering. So yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the plan. Um, well, well worth the money. You get everything you need. You just need an air unit or some kind of HD system, and then. Uh, we're off, we're off to the races anyway that's that's my quick review on this um part two will be um well it'll be on my channel when i'm when i'm done so you'll get a notification if you you know if you are subscribed or whatever and uh we'll see how it goes from now anyway uh that's just a little project of mine to do over the christmas period and uh yeah we'll we'll continue this when it's done Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.